Did you get rid of your cable TV and now have endless amounts of coax running through your walls connected to, well, nothing? Many know this, but surprisingly many don't. You can hijack these cables to basically supercharge your home network. If you're considering contacting your ISP to increase your speeds and your monthly bill, you may want to try this first. Getting the most out of your home network is vital these days. Many homes have several HD streams going on at once across tablets and TVs, as well as music streaming services. We often pay for a speed package from our ISP, but really only see those speeds if we either have a direct connection or are very close to a hardwired router that is directly connected to your modem. What's the point of increasing your monthly bill if only a small portion of your home receives the benefit? You may find that you can greatly increase your internet speeds with a single purchase and prevent increasing that monthly bill. What I'm gonna to suggest today is a two front approach, a mesh network with a wired backhaul over coax using Mocha, as well as direct connections to vital equipment over coax utilizing the same Mocha network. Because Mocha technology is wired, it delivers a reliable, low leg and high speed connection. All these are critical to good streaming of video, music, or your online gaming experiences. This would be really simple if we had ethernet already ran through the house, but in my case, it's not really an option, nor is it very feasible to run these in a finished home. Well, it's possible, it's just time consuming and who really wants to crawl around in their attic space in the middle of winter? Have you ever been caught in a fishing attack? No, I'm not talking about the time you were at the lake and a minnow swam by your leg and you ran out like it was a scene from Jaws. I'm talking about internet security. I'm sure some of you have seen emails come by, emails from companies we deal with all the time, but they look a little off. A quick glance and you think, not today, but every now and then they get it right. You have a moment of weakness one single time and it pulls you in without thinking. There is something wrong with your order. Okay, click. That's why I'm excited to partner with today's sponsor, Aura. They jump in, crisis averted. Your information is safe and so is your wallet. Aura protects you from scammers and hackers by scanning the so-called dark web, where criminals sell stolen information. The moment I signed in, I was notified there was over 30 data brokers selling my information. It automatically starts the removal process. I don't know about you, but less scam calls sounds pretty good to me. Aura is offering a free two-week trial linked in my description that will provide real-time alerts on your credit, like someone attempting to open a new credit card, a VPN that allows you to stay anonymous, keeping your browsing history and personal information safe and encrypted, virus, malware, and spyware protection for your computer, as well as your mobile device, a password manager that can securely keep all your information in one place. Aura even helps you manage what your kids can do with their devices, restrict apps, screen time limits, provide Windows use. You'll be shocked at how much information Aura finds exposed over the two-week trial. Sign up today with my link, https aura.com slash It's also linked in my description. And start to worry less. Now let's get back to the video. Thanks. So what we're going to do today is introduce the Mocha device to convert coax to Ethernet. The one I have today is called ScreenBeam. They offer a variety of models as well as speeds. You will typically see either Mocha 2.0, which will cap at 1 gig per second, as well as 2.5, which goes as high as 2.5 gigabytes per second. 2.5 is what we're going to be using today. The prices are similar, so I would generally suggest purchasing the highest standard available today for future proofing. The kits are available in single add-on packs or pairs. If you already have a Mocha enabled modem or router, you only need a single unit to be on the other end of your desired connection. I do not have a Mocha enabled router, so we will be using a two pack, which simply integrates in one Mocha at the source and additional units anywhere I'd like to add a wired connection. Let's take a look at the screen beam devices and how this is gonna work. We have an ethernet port on one end, along with a power input. On the top, we have two status lights, one signals we have power, and the other marks a coax connection between the two devices. On the other end, we have a coax input and the MPS button, which stands for Mocha Protected Setup. You shouldn't need to do anything with this by default. Let's lay this out and create an example of a Mocha network. First, we have the line coming into the house from the ISP. This coax goes into a filter, which I will link below. The filter is a simple addition you place at the incoming connection so your Mocha network doesn't escape the confines of your home. There is the possibility that your neighbors could join your Mocha network if they are also using one. It also potentially increases your network performance. 
It's less than $10 and just a safe bet to include it. So we have the coax cable into the filter and now plugging directly into the cable modem. I take the ethernet out from the modem and go directly into my router, which in this case is an Eero. This Eero has two ports, so we can take an ethernet cable and introduce the Mocha adapter into the network. Now we have a line coming into the house, a filter prior to the modem, ethernet coming out of the modem and into an Eero wireless router. The second port of the Eero is connected to the screen beam Mocha adapter. We're gonna demonstrate my scenario, so we will take a coax cable, attach it to the adapter, and then add a splitter. The splitter is included in the kit as well. The cable is going to split off into two locations. One will go to the main level into another Mocha adapter, and then into a second Eero for Wi-Fi on the main level. The second will also go to a Mocha adapter, but the ethernet line will plug into a switch in my office. It's going into a switch rather than another Eero at this location, because I have a preference for hardwired connections to various items here. That's really it. For this use case, we needed two kits. One kit with a pair of screen beams, and then another with a single. Once you establish the Mocha network, you only need to add on single units at their desired locations. After moving recently, I changed over to an Eero mesh network. I needed to cover three levels, which in theory, one Eero on each level can do this without issue, but there are compromises. If you don't have Ethernet ran through your home, which I do not, you will need to rely on a wireless backhaul between the nodes. This will greatly limit your speeds. My goal was to use a Mocha network to add a backhaul between my basement and main level, as well as a direct connection to the main level into the office. If we take a look at my before speeds in the office over Wi-Fi, we can see I definitely have some speed issues. And while it's better at the main floor Eero, it's still limited by the wireless backhaul. Let's test this all out and see what kind of performance we gained. The Mocha device is connected to a coax cable and then going into a network switch. The switch is then hardwired into my PC. As you can see, the speeds are greatly increased. The speeds I'm reaching now wouldn't be achievable over the wireless backhaul. Now let's test the improvements on the main level. The before speeds in this location over Wi-Fi are much better than the office, but still nowhere near what I was expecting. This Eero is much closer to the one in the basement, so the signal is okay. It's a much shorter distance for the wireless backhaul. Now I will add the Mocha adapter and go directly into the Eero so we can have a wired connection between the two. As you can see, the speeds increased again. There's really no comparison to having a wired connection between your mesh network devices instead of relying on a wireless backhaul. There are various ways to configure a Mocha network, and what I laid out today is just one example for my use case. But at the end of the day, there's a lot to like about this product. You can easily and semi-affordably gain a reliable, hardwired network without drilling any holes or crawling around in your attic space running cables. 2.5 gig with less than 5 millisecond latency? I'm not going to complain about it. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. Please consider liking and subscribing for some more future content. See ya.